Filling the gates well, racing good for over the 1400 meters. We're sure last just gonna jump the clear favorite, even money here. Flash, this is Donna, uh, impending shadow going in for Ollie. They look good, the horses, they look all set. Did they go? Riverina Cycling will be the last one. Over the 1400 meters here for race one for group three Sandown Stakes Day. The starter has the button in hand. Field of eight. They're racing. Girl was a little bit slow. Then uh, Brazen Lady out well and is going to charge across. Flash Mirror is going to get a good spot with Wishlaw Lass on the fence. Jenny Pending heading back with Vercilia. A bit slow today, unlike her. Girl on the fence. Then further back in the field to Impending Shadow and Riverina Cyclone. Two length last. So charging off into the lead is Brazen Lady. Wishlaw Lass, the $2 shot, is going to sit second on its out slot. Out on its outside, about a half length off it. Girl third. Vercilia fourth. Flash Mirror three wide and is going to charge forward uh, impending shadow then came riverina cyclone going forward as well and jenna pending is at the tail so brazen lady lane looking to stack them up coming to the 700 meters and is going to do so flash mary's coming three wide wish or less in between them girl on the fence from versilia riverina cyclone impending shadow and jenny pending is last brazen lady coming up to the corner at the 550. Wishlaw last to its outside. Girl looking to need a run. Vasilia trying to pull out. Flash Mary under the pump. Impending shadow. Back to the fence. Brazen Lady. Lane kicks in the gear. Wishlaw last has canned it up on the outside. Girl. Vasilia running on. Wishlaw last. Jamie Carr stoking it up now. Goes for it and is going to race away. Brazen Lady. Girl. Vasilia. But. Uh, wish or less, the good thing of the day is going to start the day with a winner, and Jamie Carr gets her first winner for the day. Brazen Lady Girl, Vasilia, River in a cycle, Jenny Pending, Impending Shadow, and at long last was Flash Mary. Now behind the barriers for race two, the thousand meter dash. Princess Jew Heller's in, that's Lady in Pink going in now. Ethereal Star joins the line. So we've got Sarasana, Hedge, Chilled, and Catahoula to get set. There's Hedge going forward with Jamie Carr in the center with the 59 kilos in seven. There's Sarasana for Blake Shin. He couldn't be riding better at the moment. That's Chilled on screen now. So we're still waiting on Chilled, and Catahoula will be the last two into the barriers for race two. They're just uh, milling around the back. They'll get them in the middle line shortly. Here's Chilled coming in. For Mickey D. Catahoula to be the last for McNeil. And we're set to see them fly over the thousand. Here he comes in. Catahoula coming in. Here we go. Race two over the thousand. For the speedsters here. This is going to be a good race. Seven horses to start. And they're off. Catahoula jumped well with Chilled Hedge to the outside. Lady in Pink jumped a little slow. Sarasana going for with Ethereal Star and Princess Juhello as well. So coming up to the 900, it's Chilled in front from Hedge, three wide, four wide. From Ethereal Star, Princess Juhello drives through on the fence from Sarasana, Catahoula, and Lady in Pink is last. So driving through, it's Princess Juhello is going to lead them here from Ethereal Star. Then Chilled, three wide, Hedge, four wide. The trip, Catahoula, Sarasana, and Lady in Pink coming up to the corner. It's Princess Juhello looking to rack them and stack them. Then further back in the field to Ethereal Star, uh, chilled Hedge is running on Princess Jew Hello uh, Ethereal Star Chilled Hedge Sarasana Catahoula And Lady in Pink Hedge coming down The middle of the track And is going to blast Up the middle of the track Princess Jew Hello Chilled Sarasana Catahoula running on But it's all hedged At the 200 minutes Has blasted away And is going to win By about 6 lengths On the line Jamie Carr 2 from 2 What a ride Catahoula for second Then came Lady in Pink Princess Jew, Hello, Sarah Sano, Chilled, and Ethereal Star was last. They're heading into the, they're heading into the stores for race four, three here at Sandown over the thousand. Lord Protector in Sam Bacchus coming forward. Uh, uh, milling around behind the barrier, the instructor. He looks good. He's the class horse of this field. Gifted Gamer coming in as well. The instructor you'd think will be uh, in front for a long long way here. So who have we got? We've got the Longest Yard, 
Copacabana, Slippity Legend coming in now for uh, Zach Spain for Lloyd Kenner and Lucy Yeomans. Um, with a significant weight drop from his last start effort. Just doesn't want to go in, just backs away slightly. But these barrier boys will get him in. He, they know what they're doing. Just coaxing him forward in now. He doesn't want to play the game. They're going to link arms to get him in. The young, longest yard on screen for Craig Williams. For Matty Brown. Can run really well here. So the instructor all the time firming in. He's now going to run the dominant favourite. He's got to carry the weight, but you think with that barrier, he should set up shop in front. And with his racing style, they probably won't catch him. Copacabana coming forward to be the last one over the 1,000 metres. 1,400, sorry. And it's going to run well. Here we go. Race three at Sandown. A field of five to run. Let's see how they go. The instructor jumped that well with Copacabana on the outside. Gifted Gamer, Slippity Legend. They're all up there, really, from the longest yard. Sam Booker. And then last is Lord Protector. So, Slippity Legend and the instructor, they're going to cut at each other's throats early with Slippity Legend slightly in front now from the instructor. He's going to hold the inside about four lengths away to Gifted Gamer, the longest yard. Two lengths to Copacabana, Sam Booker, and Lord Protector at the tail. So, Slippity Legend is going to lead uh, the instructor here. He's going to blast off here, two lengths to the instructor, gifted gamer a length away, third, uh, the longest yard, fourth on the fence from Copacabana Sam Booker, Lord Protector last so Snippity Legends, he wanted the front Spain, and he's going to set up set up shop in front coming to the 750, the instructor on its outside from Lord Protector, uh, sorry get the longest yard, gifted gamer Copacabana, Sam Booker and Lord Protector at the tail, so Snippity Legend comes up to the turn in front uh, eyeballed now by the instructor. The longest yard needs a run. Gifted gamer to the outside. Copacabana, Sam Booker, and Lord Protector is under the pump. So, Slippity Legend, he's went, he went to the front, but now he's done. The instructor moves up. The longest yard, Copacabana, gifted gamer to the end. Uh, uh, the instructor going forward now. Geordie Charles takes the whip and whips him away. Lord. Uh, uh, looking to run back, a Slippity Legend, Cobra Commander running on, but it's the instructor in front. The weight's no issue. He browned it away. He was a class horse and he won it easily. Cobra Commander, Slippity Legend in there for the miners. Then came further back in the field to Gifted Gamer, the longest yard, Lord Protector. He ran on well at the end. Sam Booker, last of the field of five. Moving in for race four at Sandown. Sell him a feed. It's Miss Aria going in, Zardozzi in the stalls. Big opportunity here for Wurumu Pin. There's Petrana going forward for Harry Coffey for the Mac McAvoy team. Who have we got next? This is Hell Queen coming forward for the Extreme Racing for Craig Williams. Tr Trilogy Racing for Craig Williams. They've got another in the race with Extreme Threat. Moesha's in. This is Enesrink coming forward for Jake Noon and Alex Ray. Filling the gates well. That's uh, coming forward is Extreme Threat. Kar Karina Queen coming forward shortly. That was her on camera before. Karina Queen's the last one coming forward. Over the 1400 metres race for Sandown. Second 1400 metres race of the day. Nine to run. They're off. Karina Queen jumped away well. Still in my feed forward. Ke Hell Queen up there early. So it's going to be Hell Queen, still in my feed. Extreme Threat finds a position. Miss Aria on the rail from Enna's Dream. Karina Queen, Zadozi back in the field from Moesha and Batrana at the tail. So a real clump of them coming to the uh, 1100. It's Hell Queen, Miss Aria, Stella Mafid all up there from Extreme Threat. He's going to get a lovely run, though is White, and his Dreams, Zadozi, uh, Moesha back on the fence, Karina Queen and Petrona two lengths at the tail. So Stella Mafid uh, blasts away to take up the lead here from Hell Queen second but a half length of it to Miss Aria on the fence Extreme Threat's going to get in now from Enna's Dream Karina Queen Batrana Moesha and Zadozi at the tail so Stella Mafid leads uh, are coming up to the corner from Hell Queen on its outside Extreme Threat it w has been wide but Jamie Carr hasn't let her go Miss Aria Enna's Dream Zadozi looking for a run back up on the fence Moesha Kat 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 Katrina Queen and Batrana so Stella Mafid look to go well but 
now. Cal Queen's got her. Zardozzi needs a run. Badly miss Aria. And then his dream. Extreme Threat's gone. Karina Queen running on with Betrana. It's Hell Queen takes the front. And his dream running on with Karina Queen. Betrana miss Aria up on the fence. Karina Queen takes the lead. Katrina Queen is the one. And what it from Enna's dream. Alicia Betrana further back in the field to Zardozzi who had little luck in this trade from Hell Queen Miss Aria. Extreme Threat and Sella Mafid at the tail. Karina Queen for Mickey D. Well, that was a good ride. They're loading away for race five. A lot of quite regular as been Hennessy lad. There's quite a few in already. Thought of that coming forward. Tycoon back in the stores with a Lord de Qua. I've already said it already. And Regal Asman in. Fujita Sand going in. World's Fold coming forward shortly. And here is, is Toro Pick wearing club's colours. To distinguish it from World's Fold who wears the Nick Ryan stablemate colours. Here's Legend of Dubai coming in. He was a disappointment last start. Can he bounce back here? We'll soon find out. Toro Peak in. Glentanius coming forward for Damien Lane. Riding supremely well at the moment. They're all set for the fifth at Sandown. Over the 1800. Have I missed one? Is one coming in? No, no. I think they're right. Toro Peaks just bobbing out wide. They're soon to let the starter let them go shortly. Big field. Big field of 15 to run. We're waiting for them to be dispatched. A couple of them are bobbing up and down. What's wrong? There must be an issue out wide. They're off. They jumped really well. Queen Air, Toro Pick right up there with Hennessy Lad Tycoon back. Look at Legend of Dubai screaming to the front from Queen Air. Hennessy Lad then came thought of that driving forward in a fourth position from a Lord Aquarius. He's going to settle on the fence from Tycoon back. Chihuly, Toro Pick, Regal Asmon, Glentanius, Worsfall, and Fujita Sand, the favourites last in an epic in an epic early. So coming up to the 1400 it's Queen Air for Jamie Carr in front and it's going to settle in the lead. From Hennessy Laddock, half length off her. From two lengths, the Legend of Dubai. Tycoon back thought of that. A Lord de Qua. Then came Toro Peak, Chihuly, Regal Asmon, uh, Wurz Fold. Then for the back in the field to Glentanius and at the tail is Fajita Sanferelli. So Queen Air comes off the back section in front about a length to Hennessy Laddock who's been well back to win this. Legend of Dubai third from a half length to Tycoon back a length to Toro Pick on the move from thought of that. Then on its outside is Lord Aqua, Regal, Asmon, Chihuly, Worsfold, Glentania is looking to make a run from Fajita Sand and would want to get moving soon. So Queen Air looks to get, looks to lead into the straight. Hennessy Lad and Tycoon back look to take it now. Legend of Dubai back on the fence from Lord Aqua, Toro Pick, Glentania, Regal, Asmon, Worsfold to the outside, Chihuly, thought of that and Fajita Sand, they're compact coming into the straight. Queen Air under the under the whip. Hennessy Lad canted up on the outside. Legend of Dubai up on the fence from Tycoon back. A Lord Aqua thought of that. Glentania is looking to squeeze through. There's no Fajita Sand. Hennessy Lad takes the lead. Thought of that. Tycoon Black. Glentania screaming through from Lord Aqua. Hennessy Lad thought of that. Glentania Tycoon back. Thought of that. Glentania Tycoon back. Fajita Sands robbing home for Ali. What a win! Fajita Sand from Glentania. Then came Tycoon back from. Sorry, Regal Asmund from Tycoon back. Thought of that. Holy Hennessy lad from then worst fold further back in the field to um Glenn uh, Lord Aqua Chihuly and Toro Peak. Wow, that was a win. Coming up for the second last race. Flash flood, let's roll the dice. Ain't no deal done. They're all already in the store. Timor joining them with on the outside. Couldn't quite see who went in there. Supergirl fought for that. There's ain't no deal done going forward. Must have been another horse that was in the stalls. It was. It was Let's Roll the Dice. There's Supergirl in. Port Phillip. Abba Valley Boy coming forward now.
So that's uh, Macram, Port Phillip in, but half the field loaded, forgot you, here he comes the big man, he's in, Macram coming in now, so we wait on Fame and Kukaracha and Raya Zander with the last three. There's Fame going in, coming off of what was a good run last start, where it was group one placed in the autumn, winter. There's Raya Zander going in. Kukaracha, must already be in, they're off. Raya Zander jumped well with Port Phillip, Macram on its outside. Uh, driving forward is Supergirl. And there's Flash Flood burning across. So Bark's up there with Ain't No Deal Done. Aberfeldy boy, Port Phillip, let's roll the dice. Forgot you, gets into a lovely run. Timor, Kukaracha, Fame. And at the tail of the field is Flash Flood and Ryazan. So Supergirl, she wants the lead here, Winona. Costin, and she's going to go off into the lead and get it for uh, that. And the two lengths to Sabak, three lengths to um, Flash Flood, ain't no deal done, let's roll the dice, poor Philip, Aberfeldy boy, the back in the field to Kukaracha, Forgot You, Flash Flood, sorry, uh, Macram, Fame, and at the tail of the field is Ryazand, so Supergirl, Gay Waterhouse runners, they like to go forward, and that's, this one's no different, she said Top Chop in front, two lengths to, to Sabak, two lengths to Flash Flood, let's roll the dice, running forth from Ain't no deal done. Fifth, a length to port for the Timor. Then there is Aberfeldy boy. Forgot you. Looking to make a searching run. Kukaracha fame. Macram and Ryazan. So Supergirl looking to string them out. Coming up to the 500 meters. Sabak on its outside from Flash Flood. Let's roll the dice up on the inside from Timor. Rise and looks the hunt up on the fence from Ain't No Deal Done. Forgot you coming with a searching run for the back of the field, the Port Phillip. So Supergirl coming down the, coming up the inside. Sabak's got it now from Flash Flood. Forgot you coming down the middle from Let's Roll the Dice. Sabak, Flash Flood, Supergirl. Forgot you driving home. Ain't No Deal Done. Uh, Sabak, Flash Flood. Forgot you. Ain't No Deal Done. Sabak, Flash Flood. Forgot you. Ain't No Deal Done's the one. Ain't No Deal Done. Done. Got up and got up and raced away. F forgot you had to make too much work from where it was. Flash flood. Then let's roll the dice. Sabak, Supergirl in a clump. Fame, Macram, Port Phillip, Kukaracha further back in the field to Timor, Ryazan, and Supergirl makes a tail enders. But ain't no deal done. Got the job done there. Coming forward for the last, what a deal, already in the stores, quite a few of them in here, only a couple left to load, Dubai Poet coming forward, Weinberg blowing, all of them in, Sky Wolf to be one of the last, and Ferretti to take the inside barrier. The outside barrier. They're ready for race eight. Last on the card. Competitive racing. They're off. Ferretti does what it usually do. Jumps really well. Reinberg right up there with Dubai Poet. What a deal going back with. Dashing on its inside. Then came Japanese Emperor. Then came Sky Wolf. Then driving up the fence is St. Lawrence. Then came for the back of the field to Pachero. Blow in. What a deal. And Prince of Alina is, la is second last to what a deal. So Ferretti drives off into the lead. About a, half, about a length to Reinberg comfortably. Dubai Poet for third. Then came dashing running fourth Japanese Emperor for fifth then St. Lawrence drives up on the fence Skywolf's three is Skywolf is three wide back in that position uh, Prince of Lena up on the fence from Pesciro blowing and what a deal is at the tail so Ferretti coming up to the corner uh, for looking to give Gay Waterhouse a winner of the day Reinberg second Dubai Pot looks to be coming off their back soon from dashing in on its outside since Lawrence. Then came Prince of Elena, Japanese Emperor, Preciero, Skywolf, Blowin' and what a deal at the tail. So Ferretti kicks away here. Uh, Reinberg coming on from Dubai Poet. St. Lawrence needs a bit of room. Dashing to the outside. 
Prince of Alina you know, coming on. Freddy looks to have stolen it. Comes down the dip. 200 metres. It's going to go on here. Reinberg, due by Poet. Dashing, coming home. Hards and Lawrence up on the fence. Freddy, Reinberg, and dashing over the top of them. Reinberg, dashing, dashing, Reinberg. Reinberg got the ball from dashing. Freddy just. Then came what a deal. He was screaming home. St. Lawrence didn't have a lot of luck in the strains from Prince of Alina. Then came Pochero, due by Poet's. But as Japanese Emperor blow in, and at the tail of the field was Skywolf in it, what turned out to be a cracking race.